and today I'm going to be doing a Hazel Grace Lancaster makeup hair and outfits. So I just took some inspiration and some of them are actually from like movie scenes, of, movie scenes um, from just clips and random stuff I found on YouTube. Um, and some of them I just like inspired. And I tried because like her style is very like fallish. She wears a lot of jeans and sweatpants and you know jackets and stuff. So I tried to um, kind of summarize it and so you can still wear it now. So yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I've gone ahead and um, filled in my eyebrows. I just used a dark brown eyeshadow from my NYX New London palette. And I just filled them in with an angled eyeliner brush and a flat shader brush. And Hazel has actually really skinny, thin eyebrows. So I tried to kind of t do that um, without going, you know, too skinny or whatever. So just kind of like look up pictures and you can kind of see. So this is what I kind of like ended up coming up with. So then I just got, went ahead and set it with my Amazing Great Lash in the clear, transparent. And yeah, mine, I, mine is actually really gross because I've been using it for a long time. So it's got like all of the my eyebrow color in it. Yeah, that's gross. So now Halo does not wear a lot of um, you know, makeup because obviously if I had cancer I wasn't I wouldn't be, you know, like putting on tons of makeup. Unless that's what I liked, but you know, whatever. Um, so what she I find her always wearing is just some brown mascara on her lashes. Well, I don't have brown mascara, and I don't personally like that on myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a black mascara. So I'm just going to curl up my lashes, and you can kind of, you know, like I said, I don't personally like black. And I don't personally like brown, so you can just kind of do what you wish with that. So I'm just curling them up. And I talked a little bit about my eyelash curler in my last video. So if you want to know more about it, then you can go check that out. The Mermaid Makeup Tutorial. For makeup and hair. So yeah, I'm just curling this up. And um yeah, this is the mascara I'm using, which is always like my go-to holy grail mascara, is a coverall lash glass. You couldn't even see it. And this is actually I accidentally got waterproof last time I was there, but it actually like stays on really nicely and this doesn't like like when you get in the pool it doesn't like it comes off but it doesn't run down your face. Like it slowly just kind of like comes off in the water but it doesn't like streak down your face like your lower lashes do but so yeah I found that it stays really nice because so I'm just going to go ahead and
just put on my mascara and I, like I said I showed what I was using and try to use a mascara that makes your lashes look as natural as possible that does not cause clumps and like you know, just find something that's gonna like really smooth your lashes and not make your lashes look clumpy and like not natural at all because Hazel just definitely does not have, you know, it's really, you know, super long luscious lash lashes. You can definitely tell that she just put a few coats of mascara on and she didn't, you know, go ahead and just like spend hours like you know, putting it on. So yeah, that's what I tried to do with mine. And she also has a, a little bit, she doesn't have a whole ton of mascara on her bottom lashes, so you know, you can do that which you will, so yeah. So let's get on to the outfits. So actually, I forgot to mention this in the last clip, that I went ahead and I put on some chapstick. I just used some clear, just, you know, chapstick. It's no tint to it, it's just completely clear. Um, because Hazel definitely is not wearing rheumatic lip colors and anything. So, I said in the last clip that I was doing outfits, but I totally forgot about the hair aspect of this. So, I'm actually just gonna, since I don't have super short hair like Hazel does, obviously. Well, it's pretty short, but it's not, you know, as short as hers. Um, you can either, you know, there's two options here. You can just leave your hair down, which totally can, you can totally do that. But I found that a lot of the outfits were actually super, you know, they were lazy outfits, you know, pajamas, pretty much. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw my hair up into a top knot. So I'm just doing a bun on top of my head. And that's pre pretty much, like, you can pull out little pieces to kind of frame your face. And that should kind of give off the same look. But if you do have hair as short as Hazel's, um, you could just go ahead and like take a flat iron and just kind of like bend the pieces over. And just kind of like create a side sweep around your face and you should get the same look. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my top knot. 